Hi everyone, this video will show you how to design a wedding invitation card, specifically this one sent here. I'm gonna be working in Adobe Illustrator, um, so if you don't have knowledge of that, you can check out other videos on my channel as well as plenty of other channels here on YouTube that show you how to use Adobe Illustrator for things like wedding invitation and other types of graphic design. So let's get started. All right, I have all of my text in Adobe Illustrator. This is my favorite platform for designing wedding invitations. And if you're curious about how we got to this text format, there's another video I'll link on that. If you're curious about more Adobe stuff, I have an Adobe playlist that I'll link for you as well. So once you get all your text in here, you just want to put it in kind of approximately where it's gonna go on the invitation. It doesn't have to be exact, so we're gonna change things around. And then we will add our elements. I'm gonna go to file place. Now Creative Market is a place where you can purchase a ton of pre-made elements. So especially if this is one of your first imitation designs, you'll love this. You can find so many different styles, colors, like this one's so beautiful. I'll link this shop directly in the description. I'm gonna choose this one for now. And we're gonna rotate it. So I'll press R, enter. Brings up our rotate, we'll do 90 degrees. And then to center it, you can do this align buttons. Um, it's really hard to print up to the exact edge of the paper. So for printers or if you're printing yourself, you'll find that it's easier if you print a little bit larger and then cut down to size. So what that is referred to in the printing world as is a bleed. So you want the design to bleed over the edge of the paper so that you can cut it down and there won't be any weird white space. So what we want to do is make this design a little bit larger. So it will go to these red lines, which you can do in your document setup in Illustrator, but it just needs to go about an eighth of an inch over the edge of your final size. Also, this is really crowding our invitation, so I'm gonna make it even bigger because um, I don't think that it needs to be quite that big on our invitation. And it's kind of hard to see what this is actually gonna look like. So first of all, I'm gonna send it to the back so it's behind our text. And then I'm gonna go view trim view. So that shows what it'll actually look like once it's trimmed down, which I really like. Um, I think this is pretty good. I might move it over a slight bit and I might, you know, adjust these guys. We can do this as we go a little bit too. We don't want it to overwhelm the invitation with the design though. This black tie optional, a lot of people don't have a tie around their invitations these days and it is uh, in its own text box because I like to kind of hide it over to the side. I'm also going to make it italic just so it's kind of hidden over there and taking up that white space. Now it's time to play with the rest of the invitation. So first of all, we wanna pay attention to the hierarchy, what's really important on this invitation suite. Most people understand that they're getting a wedding invite when they see something like this. So the most important parts are usually the names of the couple and then things like the name of the venue because that shows where they're going to be. The rest of it, they look and find that information. Um, you could make the date, you know, a piece in the hierarchy that's higher up. It's just kind of up to you. I like to use the name of the venue because it's far enough away from the names that it looks spaced out well. So you'll see what that looks like in a second. We'll go ahead and I'm going to use this fun brushy script. This is, uh, you can also purchase a lot of great fonts on Creative Market. So I'll link this one for you in the description of the video. And this is just a really fun brushy one. I think it matches the watercolor elements really well. And that's when we kind of start playing. We're gonna move this up a tiny bit. Um, I think I'm gonna end up needing a little more space. So I'm gonna make the two smaller, but we wanna keep the spacing the same. We're using the character panel in Illustrator for this. And these, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're slightly spaced out because of how I have the spacing on the uh, print font. So this is a 50, we wanna change that back to a zero. You always want it to be zero for script fonts so that they connect and don't look like they're missing each other and then we will make the name of the venue this is actually my wedding venue before we decided to cancel our wedding because of you know the panorama um, and we'll increase this line spacing i think i'm actually going to make this two lines again and then we'll have to 
bring that line spacing back up. I'm gonna delete the reception to follow. Um, this is just a sample invitation, so it doesn't really matter. We can fit that in there if we want to, but I think it'll look a little bit nicer if we don't do that. And let's see, there's a little bit too much space here between the L and the previous line as compared to this bottom Y and the next line. So we'll bring this up a tiny bit. We could also bring the other one down. It really doesn't matter too much, but I think I wanna create a little more space before this name. And then this is a point where you might adjust the frame a little bit more um, depending on, you know, the because this frame is a little bit asymmetrical, uh, it might make the invitation start to look off once you get the text in there. So you might need to just move it around. I think moving it over one there made it look a little bit more symmetrical. Um, but I like this frame because you have equal uh, distribution of the orange and the purples here. I think it looks really nice. There is a little bit of a blank space right here. So what I might do is add an individual element. So what that would look like is we go back to this main pack. And this just depends on the pack that you purchase. Um, but this one has the individual ones as well has so many individual elements to choose from. And we're gonna choose a leaf that we think will match with the color scheme. You can't see it because we're back in trim view, but it is there, <laughs> just on the outskirts. And then we'll work that in just, I just wanted to fill the empty space. I don't want us to do anything fancy. Um, and I'm also going to send it to the back behind there. And I think that looks really nice. There might be some for, uh, further editing I would do potentially if someone wanted to change their colors, like change this orange to pink or something. We could always do that in Photoshop and update it automatically here in Illustrator, which is one of the many reasons I absolutely love Adobe. Um, but I think that this is a good starting point. So let me know what questions you have on designing a wedding invitation card. And while you're here on our channel, I hope that you will enjoy some other videos about stationary design. If you do want to become a stationary designer, I hope you'll check out the link in the description to our monthly membership for stationary designers, which is called stationary school. And you get two courses every month as well as emails every week and tutorials.